What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple decks of cards that I'm really excited to review because they are highly anticipated in the playing card community. I'm talking about the Mint V2 edition playing cards by 52 Cards and Asad Chandri. I think I'm saying that right. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, so the Mint V2 playing cards by 52 Cards. Just some background in case you're not familiar. About two years ago, 52 Cards did a Kickstarter for a deck called the Mint Collection. The V1 decks were successfully funded on Kickstarter, producing the Mint playing cards or Raspberry Mint playing cards. As well on the V1, there was a full bleed uh, borderless back design that was released. It was black and gold. I don't have that deck. It is very rare. I believe it's like $200 uh, on eBay now sealed. After that project was successfully funded, two years later, Assad at 52 Cards launched another Kickstarter campaign for the second offering of the Mint Collection. These decks were able to raise over $500,000 throughout their month on Kickstarter. I backed this project uh, very early and was so happy when I received my decks almost a year later so that I could review them just for you. Also was another full bleed mint two back design. I didn't buy those decks, I only backed the decks that I want to use. I know that those decks are gonna be worth a lot of money but I have no interest in buying them just to sell them. Before we take a look at these decks, let's take a look at what came with the package. When I received the package, I also received a mint sticker. Always good, I love stickers. Um, I love when companies include them in their packages because you could save them and then you know, cover your laptop with them or a notebook or just whatever you want. And also, I thought this was super classy. You receive an actual mint. It is a Mentos. They even got the branding on point with the mint logo. That's pretty awesome. Um, whether or not I eat this is to be determined, but still pretty cool to see that. And as well as part of the backer kit, I was on early release, so I also got a mint gaff pack. There's, uh, I believe, eight gaff cards in here that you can use with the two decks that I backed. Let's take a look at the cards. All right, so this is the Blueberry Mint deck. It is a deep navy blue matte tuck case with foil embossing. You can see it says mint and it has the mint logo in silver. And then in a lighter blue foil, you can see it says luxury playing cards. I absolutely love this tuck case. Um, it's very classy, looks very high end. Um, so if you're advertising luxury playing cards, that's how you do it. One side of the tuck case says the mint collection. And the other one says luxury for the modern Cardition. Cardition is an awesome term. It's anybody who uses or collects cards. The bottom has some very simple ad copy, about 52 cards. You do get a custom white seal. It has the mint logo and it says second edition on it. The back design, which is my favorite part of this tuck case, is all foil, just this beautiful blue foil stamp that represents the back design of the cards. So that was the blueberry mint. This is the Cucumber Mint. You can see it is the exact same tuck case, only it is done in this deep green. Same everything on the sides, top, the seal, but look at this. Ooh. Nice, nice tuck case, I absolutely love it. This is just, I mean, if you take this to a gig, people know that you're there to blow some minds. Inside the tuck flap, you can see it's a navy blue background with silver foil mint logos all on the inside. That looks so good. This is the back design of the Blueberry Mint. You can see it has these really thin white borders, which I love. Has that repeating mint logo. And if you're familiar with the V1, uh, they are fully marked. It is a marked deck, not a reader back, but it's very, very easy to interpret once you know the method but almost invisible for a spectator. So if you're into marked decks and you don't want one that is too complicated to read, but also so easy that somebody might notice, this is gonna be perfect for you. The Ace of Spades on this deck is nice and simple. It's a enlarged spade pip with that blue back design kind of shadowing on the outside. That looks really, really nice. It's super simple, but so elegant and so classy. You get two identical jokers. It is just the mint logo and says Joker in the corner. I really like this and I can appreciate minimalistic Jokers. However, I think it would have been cool to have one black and maybe one in blue or blue foil would have been really cool. But I know a lot of people, especially magicians, uh, value having duplicate cards. And if you have duplicate Jokers, you can use that for a routine. You're gonna get one gaff card and that is a 
Double Backer, which is my favorite gaff card. It's great for magic tricks. And you're gonna get the Mint ad card. So this shows the Mint logo. And it says, congratulations on receiving your new luxury deck. Mint offers an elegant merger of form and function. Learn more about these cards at the website below. And that is www.mint52.com. The back of that card has uh, people that backed a certain amount. These are the primary backers of the project. I really like this. I think this is a nice touch, especially for the people that helped back the project who got their names on here. They're officially part of a deck of cards, which is really cool. Now these cards also have completely custom faces, just like the Mint Launch Edition. However, they are still standard. They're just a modern standard. So you can see the pips and indices are completely custom, but still very, very easy to use for magic. They have no uh, overbearing customization. You can see the court cards have been stripped of color uh, they have this kind of Arco uh, court design, which is getting more and more popular with just black and red. I think this would have been cool for the blueberry deck to have black and blue, and then maybe for the cucumber one, black and green. But ultimately, it doesn't bother me at all. It looks great. And I love this touch. You can see the mint logo in the king's crown, uh, which I think is super cool. It's good branding and very subtle. The cards are relatively thin. They're on a crushed premium stock, uh, which was previously known as crushed B stock or casino stock. So they're not as thin as the V1s, which were on crushed bicycle stock. However, um, I like that. They're gonna be very durable. Still gonna feel very soft right out of the box. With USPCC cards these days, you almost don't even have to break them in. I would say, um, if you haven't got yours yet, these cards feel a lot like the Orbits, but specifically the Orbit V5s and V6s. A little bit less clumpy. If I had to compare the feeling of this deck to any other deck, it would definitely be the Orbits. So that's what the Blueberry Mint deck looks like. Let's take a look at the Cucumber Mint. Now, the Cucumber Mint is gonna be the exact same. It's gonna have the same jokers and same royalty, same faces. The only difference is instead of blue, you get this beautiful deep green back design. Same gaff card and ad card, same exact jokers. The only difference on the faces is the Ace of Spades has that green back design around it from here as opposed to the Blueberry, which had the blue. They feel really, really good. They're very soft right out of the box. We're gonna do a snappiness check. So not very snappy, you can't hear the you can't hear the pop when you flick it off the deck. But I think that's fine because I mean, really unless I'm just goofing off, I'm not using these cards for a lot of action. That's that new dribble sound. As well, these cards are marked just like the Blueberry Edition. The cool thing about the marking system on the Mint V2 is that they're actually marked in four different places. They're marked vertically, so that way if you're doing close-up magic this way you can get a, a read on the card, but they're also marked horizontally. So if you're doing like a card table routine and you're shuffling the cards this way and holding them horizontal, they're also marked horizontally so that it's easy to read no matter what position you're in, which I really think is a stroke of genius and adds to the overall value of this deck. Right, and one more really quick thing, let's take a look at what comes with the gaff pack. So in the gaff pack, you do get a duplicate three of diamonds for the cucumber deck a duplicate seven of spades for the blueberry deck, a blank card for the cucumber deck. As well, you get a blank card for the blueberry deck. You get a double-faced three of spades and ace of diamonds, a double-faced queen of hearts and ace of clubs, a double backer that's blue on one side and green on the other, and a double-faced nine of clubs and ace of hearts. Even the gaff cards included are really classy. There's nothing super cheesy in there. The key to using a gaff card is uh, using a card that doesn't really look gimmicked. Like, like you would see with like a bicycle gaff deck, there's always, you know, at least half of the gaffs in there are not really something you would use if they don't match your style. These gaff cards are more like utility gaff cards. They're ones that have application to pretty much any routine and they just make it a little bit easier. Well guys, that's about everything that I can say about the Mint 2 playing cards. I'm really excited to have been able to review them for you. I don't know when they're gonna be available for retail, but uh, if you haven't, I would highly recommend downloading the 52 Cards app and as well making sure that you're subscribed to them on YouTube and following them on Instagram for updates. Please don't forget to like this video if you did like it and subscribe if you haven't. Also, please take the time to enable the notification button so that way when I do my next review or vlog or magic, whatever, 
to make sure that you don't miss it. All that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I know I will. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.